Hi, my name is Robin Wong and in this video I want to clear up some confusion and misunderstanding of image stabilization settings in Olympus OMD cameras. Let's do this. The 5-axis image stabilization is what makes the Olympus OMD system so amazing. I've done a video explaining how the 5-axis image stabilization works. You may check out the video here if you have not done so. I will not repeat them here in this video. However, I've been receiving a lot of questions about Olympus image stabilization settings and I've also observed a lot of confusion and misunderstandings about the 5 axis image stabilization hence I want to address them here. Number 1 5 axis sync IS if you use an Olympus lens with built-in image stabilization such as the 12 to 100 f4 Pro or the 300 f4 Pro and a compatible Olympus camera body, then the lens image stabilization will work hand in hand with the body image stabilization giving you a full 5 axis sync IS. The compatible Olympus camera bodies are EM1X, EM1, EM1 Mark II, EM1 Mark III, EM5 Mark II, EM5 Mark III, and the Olympus Pan F. The typical question that I get is, what happens if you use an Olympus lens with image stabilization on a non-compatible 5-axis sync IS body such as the EM10 series or the Olympus EPL9? The answer is, you get the lens only image stabilization the image stabilization on the camera body will be turned off. Now what I'm about to tell you next is very, very important. There is no way for you to choose whether you want to use the lens IS or the body IS only. If you have 5C Sync IS, then the lens and the body IS will both be used for the 5C Sync IS. If your camera body does not have the 5C Sync IS, such as the EM10 series camera or the EPL9 series camera, then you only get the lens image stabilization. The body image stabilization will be turned off. There is no way for you to choose. There is no other option. I understand that and acknowledge that there is a setting in the camera which says lens IS parity or body IS parity. That particular setting is only valid if you use a Panasonic lens with image stabilization. Then you can choose whether you want to use the Olympus camera body's image stabilization or the lens image stabilization. This is not valid if you use an Olympus lens on an Olympus body. Number two, what is SIS Auto, SIS 1, 2, and 3? There are so many image stabilization settings, it is very confusing. Do not panic. SIS 2 and 3 are specific panning photography settings. Olympus designed this to help you to achieve smooth panning while enjoying the benefits of image stabilization. So if you're not doing any panning, you don't have to worry about these settings. If you use SIS Auto, the camera will disable certain axes. The camera has 5 axis image stabilization. So the SIS Auto will selectively disable certain axes if you use SIS-1, then the camera will fully utilize all the 5 axis image stabilization giving you the best image stabilization benefits. I typically shoot with SIS-1. When you shoot with SIS-2, you typically do horizontal panning. If you go to SIS-3, then you do vertical panning. However, here is a pro tip. If you truly want to do panning photography, based on my experience, the easiest way to do it is just to turn off the image stabilization. Trust me, you will still get buttery smooth motion blur, and if you have the proper panning technique, you will definitely get very high hit rate. Don't worry about SIS 2 and SIS 3. Once you go to panning mode, just turn the image stabilization completely off. Number three, what is MIS-1 and MIS-2? These are movie stabilization settings. They are only valid if you are recording a video. If you select MIS-1, we are using both the mechanical image stabilization, which is built into the camera, plus digital stabilization. 
if you use MIS-2, it is camera's mechanical image stabilization only. What is the advantage of using MIS-1? Having the mechanical image stabilization working side by side with the additional digital image stabilization, you will get a smoother and much steadier footage in comparison to MIS-2 that uses mechanical image stabilization only. I have done a video comparing the MIS-1 and MIS-2. You can check out the video here if you have not. Number four, lens image stabilization switch. Now I know that I've emphasized this in point number one that, that you cannot choose whether you want to use the lens IS or the body IS. It's either you have both or lens only depending on the camera body that you use. However, a lot of people misunderstood the lens IS switch. They thought that if they turn off the switch on the lens, it means that the lens image stabilization is disabled. They still have the body 5 axis image stabilization. No, it doesn't work that way. If you switch off the lens IS, you switch off all image stabilization completely. That includes the body's 5 axis IS. If you turn it on, you turn on both or the lens only depending on which camera you use. If you switch it off, you don't have any image stabilization and there is no option to disable or enable or change these options. That on and off IS setting on the lens is whether you want to turn on or off the image stabilization completely if you are using an Olympus camera. It's an information that I'm sharing that I'm sure a lot of you may not even know. The maximum image stabilization effectiveness when you use the 5-axis sync IS is with only the Olympus M Zuiko 12-100 f4 Pro IS. Olympus claims a maximum of 7.5 stops EV effectiveness if you use this lens with the EM1 Mark III and you get about 6.5 stops of effectiveness if you are using the EM1 Mark II. However, if you are using the Olympus 300 f4 Pro, which has also built-in image stabilization on, say, the EM1 Mark III or EM1 Mark II or EM1X, you still get the 5 axis Sync IS, but you only get 6 stops of shutter speeds compensation. Yes, you heard it right, I'm going to repeat it. If you're using the 300 f4 Pro, having the 5 axis Sync IS on any Olympus camera bodies at this moment, EM1X, EM1 Mark II, EM1 Mark III, you get six stops shutter speeds compensation. It is not six and a half, it is not seven and a half. Those higher ratings are only valid if you use 12 to 100 F4 Pro. Also bear in mind, that if you attach a teleconverter to the 300 f4 Pro, such as the MC14 or MC20, then the image stabilization effectiveness will drop from 6 stops all the way down to 5 stops only. This is a critical piece of information because if you attach a teleconverter on the 300mm lens, it makes the lens a lot longer. If you use the MC20, it doubles the lens in length. The longer the lens is, the more susceptible it is to lens shake, which will cause blur. And at the same time, if you have less effective image stabilization working with you, then you have to be a lot more careful when you use the lens with any teleconverters. That's all I have to share about Olympus image stabilization and the most misunderstood settings and I hope I've successfully clarified them in this video. If you have anything extra to add, please leave them in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing to this channel. I will make a lot more similar content coming this way. Until then, please stay safe and take care. Bye-bye.